issues that affect people. You see people will know they suffer that kind of health problem. They go and vote for you. You get what I mean? They will vote for you and say, man, I just love his policy on health care. Even if you are going to go there and mess up, oh, but you have to know what you are talking about. You have to read. You have to research so that when you are talking, you don't just, for Nigeria, now just mud slinging they do. They will grab the mic and they begin to mud sling themselves. Uh, look at them. They don't know how to govern. They cannot make decisions. But if you look at us, we are the people who love Nigeria. Go and check our record. See, our this, that's how they talk. They talk in a way that you just have to wonder like, man, Nigeria politicians, those who listen and believe in them, these are people of lowest mentality. Have you never thought about that? Like, seriously, take a look at all the Nigerian politicians, all of them, and see that you can barely count one, two with your hands. Like, you can barely count few that are really, really eh, convincing. Like, they would speak to you and, you know, not like putting up conjectures and all lies per se. I'm talking about, like, not the ones that are going to be telling you that you don't speak Yoruba very well. See this one that I want to represent. He does not speak your language. We need people who knows who are from the core Ibile. Core, 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 core. They will be being, you know. And then you see people of low mentality and say, mm, that's true. How can somebody who want to who want to rule us not speak our language like that? I use that. I'm just saying, like, you know, people of low mentality. Then they will see a drug dealer that says, Emilio comes. Yes, that's our man. He speaks our language. Well, let's ask him what was uh, what's, uh, what do you think his plan A is or his plans are on uh, on this, on this, on that. Say, don't worry. Ah, he knows what he's doing. Eh? Can't you see that he has sense? Eh? He speaks our language. I'm just saying, people of low mentality, and they are everywhere. They are everywhere. Unfortunate, right? Indeed. However, they said that if Nubu is diversifying the economy and diversifying the economy, eh, they can say, okay, oh, see the future. What size is your name? You don't so this was made by this your brand. What you mean? What you mean? I mean, I mean, so this now we found out the women are using this. But what the president is saying now is that we have to diversify our economy beyond oil and gas. So people like uh, small and medium scale enterprise like what you are doing now needs to be empowered. But if we don't know you directly, how would the president empower you? You understand? That is why the president has sent me here today. So now, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu now is me, come here, come here to now today. So, so you will not be, you will join a cooperative, but not be individual empowerment we talk about. Our cluster projects. So make sure so you follow up. No say we want something to pursue. The first phase beside don't come to you. The next phase beside you suppose what in pursue and do your own bit. You understand that I talk about it. So make sure say you go there. So you create on that cooperative for non agreed products. Non -agreed. And capture her name. She's going to be the head of that cooperative. Give them your name and your number. You will be the head of that name for that's how they do it in nigeria but let me explain that to you okay in the uk right for example if uh, i was british like now my mama and my papa be british like that right i can't grow up like this i can't get small sense like this i'll probably be a multimillionaire right now no joko I'm just saying, you know, for real, because you know what? If you go onto the the UK government website, yeah, everything you need, especially if you are a startup, startup in the sense that okay, you started something, right? It doesn't matter. Like all they need is that. Uh, are you British? Sorry about that. Are you British? And then you can access all this without you having to meet anybody or somebody writing down your name and put you as a group leader 
or this or that like they normally do in Nigeria because that's how they do it. There is no, there is no systemic plan to help the people. It is always show off like that. They've always been doing that. All right. They'll say, oh, start cooperative. You know what I mean? We'll give you money so that uh, we want to make sure that uh, small, small businesses like you get money. Nobody today that they give them money, but you know something. Because most of the money that they get, as impoverished as they are, eh, most of those money, for most of them, usually go into taking care of uh, their immediate need first. And the business dies afterward. Because most of them have no real, no process, no nothing. Now, they gave me an offer, which I haven't taken yet. And there's a reason why I haven't. An offer that could give me uh, between 50,000 pounds and 250,000 pounds. Yeah, because I've got a business here. Yeah, I could apply for all of that. Now, the thing is this. Whether you want to, uh, for example, let's say you want to go for a uh, student uh, uh, grant, not loan. Don't give student loan here. Grant. You do not, right, need to uh, assemble anywhere or anything or begin to look for some influencers that will tell you if there is if they are already paying them or not. No, 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 no. Just go on to the government. First thing first, if you choose the school you want, there's possibility that there is a government-linked website that is there to give you SaaS. SaaS, I think that's a student assistance, something, something uh, support. And the first payment they will give to you is going to be like uh, around 1,800 uh, to 2,000 pounds. They want you to go and, number one, I'm kind of talking to you like in Scotland now, right? So they will give you the money to go and buy everything you think you need to start your, uh, what do you get to start your college or anything. You do not need them setting anything new up and whatever. You do not need to meet anyone. You do not need to feel, uh, what do you call it, as they do it in Nigeria anyway. But the way they do it in Nigeria is this. Once they say a government want to do diversification, they love big, big words. Nigeria is, as, I mean, Nigeria is depending on a crude oil for too long. So we need to diversify, right? You would expect as diversification as government policy means all the small scale businesses, okay, all they have to do is what? You go so, so, so place, pick up a form, and then, or you go online, do this, especially this day and time, right? Put these so, so details there and show us so, 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 and so, and you will have access to at least 20 million, 50 million naira. Considering the inflation in that place, so no, 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 they don't do that in, that, in the contraption. Number one, you are likely not going to see any of this on a proper, genuine government website. But the ones they quickly set up to put up the scheme, now, then what they do is that they will now appoint committee, then they will appoint groups. They will call them presidential advisors on community engagement, like that lady. So they need to go and tell the people that if Numbu want to give them money, do you understand? Like he said in that, like she said in that video, not this is government policy. As a student, all you need is your student ID and show that you are a Nigerian and go on to so so and so. Your BVN, be what do you call that? Eh? That will tell us everything else we need to know about you, and you would have access to a student grant, education grant, starting from a millionaire, depend on the course you are going for. If you are going for so so and so, so they would have already gauged it here in Scotland. When Agbeke was like uh, going for our uh, HND in graphic designing and then uh, what have you then? I remember, apart from the fact that they have to be giving that money every month, the first batch of money they gave to her was like about 30,000 pounds. She needed to buy a new laptop. She needed to buy this. She needed to buy that. And, you know, and she was buying everything brand new like that. Everything, it, including pencil. Well, the education is free on itself. I mean, itself. So it's always there to take. 
So if you have people who are saying we are coming to empower the young people, or we are coming to empower the micro economy or macro or whatever it's called, then you'd have a system built in the way that, Baba, you do not need special advisor, special assistant, this sort. No, no, you don't need them. All you need is just a proper guidance for people to just go and do this, that's it. But Nigeria is so corrupt that even the criminals in government, right, who set up any scheme, automatically turn it into scam. Then if they make it public, they can't be scammer versus scammer, dog eats dog. The people and the people in government until they will crash it and there would not be headway. There will be no any definition and the rest of that will be history. But they will still tell you, but some people collected money because that's the purpose. Some people will get money. Some people will collect the student loan. Some people will collect uh, what they call the diversification money. At the end of the day, they may give that uh, lady, they will say oh, they've given them 500,000 Naira to go and start soap making business. I remember 10, 15 years ago, or like 15 years ago, that used to be a thing. Far, far away, we go, maybe 20 years ago, empowerment program, soap making, liquid soap. A lot of us were trained by politicians on how to make soap. Eh? You see a whole community, all of us, they learn how to make soap. This one is learning how to make liquid soap. I'm learning how to make liquid soap, bar soap, how to make candu, how to make uh, this. How to... At the end of the day, none of us could actually really do anything with it because those who set these things up in the name of government, eh, they actually open shop on everybody's head. Last, last, now them, they, you know, they say, okay, this empowerment program is 100 million naira. They were going to say, make me and you go do three weeks uh, soap training, can do training, this one training, uh, weaving, all of this nonsense that politicians bring, but there is nothing to back it. Because if to say they were like being for real, there will be some communities today that the area of specialty may be can do. If you know the amount of, if you know the number of people, young, young people, they trained on how to make can do between 1999 and 2007. Eh? How to rear fish, fish farming. Last, last, everybody learn how to do this, this or that. When the younger fire them, fire them, fire them, eh? No support, no nothing. They forgot about everything they learned. Some started probably riding Okada, Kekemarua, and other things to survive. Guess what? Those who put all those programs together, successive governments who put together all these programs, right? They probably built themselves houses, mansions in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. And they lived large. The people they thought they were empowering, they are now members of the poverty capital of the world today. Eh? The irony. It's called the irony. Now, you see, doctors are leaving Nigeria. Nurses are leaving. And they are doing everything to frustrate them wherever they have, they, all of you are going. They are frustrating you. Now, they say, nah, what do they call those ones again? Uh, student uh, nurse. No, not student nurse. Sergeant no Oh. Yeah, somebody said these are the people that will replace all of you nurses that are jackpying. You see, uh, I'm sure we we are all familiar with this present syndrome, jackpa syndrome. When people are running away, and let me tell you whether we like it or not, if millions of doctors, male lab scientists, nurses are trained today, once they have an opportunity, they go. They are human beings. Once they have better offer, they go. You cannot stop them. I think one of the best things the government can do is to, to encourage, you know, product of health technology institutions to strengthen them the more so that they can take over where you don't have the doctors and other allied professionals. Uh, recently, you discover that some of our products are so vast that in some places they address them as doctors. Of course, we want to believe that uh, in every health sector you have a limit. That's why we have assistant technician and we have scientists in some cases. You see, uh, I'm sure we, we are all familiar with this. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my techie. Hey, tech. I swear, I don't know how, why that kind of like uh, cracked me up somehow, right? Because I'm like, I remember El Techie, let's see. How many of you remember El Techie, let's see. Do you remember all those nurses from Eltec in Lese? I think they were auxiliary nurses. What, what, what is... See, listen. 
when people talk about the air tech, I mean the air tech, let's say in the Jebu, they believe that that's where they train nurses professionally. I be more mistake because when I heard that uh, air tech students, air tech graduate, should replace doctors with Don Jackpa. Eh? Now then I know say eh, auxiliary nurse be eh, eh. that people are already calling them doctor doctor anyway. So why not just if all these people are done jackpot, let's use all this eh, tech graduate eh, tech doctor Sisimi Nigeria till accident. And so on really, they're saying it we are laughing. Abi Nigeria has any problem. If truly they have the population of a 200 million people. And then the entire sector, health sector in Nigeria has collapsed totally. That even those in charge of uh, the contraption don't use the health uh, care of that country anymore. There are more people are already, I mean, more have left and more are still living. Aba, they will come go find health tech people more. Aba, look, go in la bere lori e gungun. O ti se bu I mean, you know. People are already suffering the lack of adequate qualified medical practitioners in Nigeria. It is already like wherever they are, they are so scarce that I think the, the rich have cornered them. Yeah. Now you have quack, quack doctors everywhere. Hmm? Quack doctors everywhere. People where they give people malaria drug for cancer. This uh, treatment, let me be honest with you. I have been uh, this doctor for the past 15 years. I think your situation is lower. You know, quack doctors who are signing the death warrant of so many people. See, people will not get anything. They do not have anything to lose. You see those of you who are still claiming to be middle class, middle class? Eh? Emma lo CQ, you see, me, I keep saying it, and it is it is not a laughing matter. I'm serious, you know, let's get serious. Nigeria is so dangerous, right? That so many people right now, they are just one single sickness away from poverty. If any sickness is going to take your money and leave you at the end of the day, that's probably like something some people will be, they can make peace with. We are talking about you go hospital because you are having backache. Eh? And then you wanted them to check you. You enter the end of uh, uh, Kukulaja, Dr. Kukulaja. Before you know it, you know what that means, right? You go to the hospital to go check back, ache, then bring you back blind, deaf, dumb, and crippled. Here's your money. They say, Oh, for Uraku, person will get money, take money by death. Now, a lot of you will be so scared. If you see your colleagues who are becoming sort of uh, demobilized by a compromised health, I mean, health sector, I'm talking to those of you who have the capacity to sit down and watch my video for two hours in Nigeria without blinking, no light, uh, expensive uh, petrol, but yet you will still sit there and you will watch. That means you did so to know to they touch you, or if you, that means you still have the chance right now. If you know they stand up to stand up, the Sobati Shele, Pam. Ah. You may, ne you may never live to tell this story. Go to the man doing your junior. I've said this before. Something happened and you are like, you've been there on my own. They are political. Shut up your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. Boom. Something happened. Oh, and it been your last minute. One rotting Google voice in my ego. Everything my ego said that you thought would never happen or ever be your portion 
in Jesus' name. Now, they don't be your portion. But there is nothing you can do. So it's not a laughing matter. This one is even worse than the Boko Haram, uh, Fulani terrorism, Nigerian, uh, you know, uh, terrorist uh, military and the rest of them. The Nigerian, uh, you know, terrorist uh, police. The other day I said that uh, Nigerian police uh, is like a uh, criminal organization. Somebody said like, don't say that. It's not all of them. What happened to Sometimes when some of them uh, say things, right? Yeah, you look at them and be like, she the same. Is she ori no look? Is this the same that you they take think a crossroad? Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Anyway, so you have the healthcare system that uh, you are just a tiny step away yeah, from becoming some of the things that you probably hope will never touch you. It's unfortunate though, right? So yeah, let's hope uh, those who are yet to be touched speak uh, speaks up and stand up. Not just speak out and st you know you have to stand up as well. Don't wait till it touches you because I think that's what happened to these guys in Ibadan. You've been hearing about uh, EFCC who have been invading and breaking into people's homes, right? In the middle of the night, they did it to one guy. They didn't know he's a lawyer. They beat him to hell, right? Then his colleague heard about it. They staged their own zanga zanga in a baton. Don't wait till it happens to you before you stand up. Because not everybody, the only thing that is pretty much democratized in Nigeria is injustice. It is the only thing. Eh? Now everybody go collect. Let's go to a baton. We are from here. Uh, they, they use their gas. They use their gas. They use their gas. They use their gas. I'm taking it up. Let's go. Let's go. I know you. That's all right. Let us take your lawyers. Stay beside. Yes. Yes. That we have come here to register our institution. And release canister of okay, I don't know. There is no problem about that. Like I have said, the first and the last time I have ever been to your facility was the time I came for a client, and right from the gates, the hostility was so much that I, that I vowed that I would never enter this place. I will never. And I would never, even today, even when I'm invited, I'm not going to enter your facility. Whoever that wants to address us, come out and address us. Watch your gas. Watch your gas. Watch your gas. We are here. Watch your gas. Watch your gas. We are here. No, no, no worry. Watch your gas now. No, we are here. Watch your gas. Use your gas. Don't punish you. Use your gas. We are here. We are here now. We are here now. Sorry, um, please. Uh, uh, I'm so happy. Meanwhile, before you speak, sir, your people has pointed gun on every member of this. Let that be registered. Let that be registered. Let us speak. Uh, we are from here. Please, nobody should speak. Nobody we are from here. Uh, they, they use out. They out. He out. He out. He out. He out. So the tear gas then, they pass out, they pass out. They wanted it registered. Lawyers in a badon. And yes, it is registered. My learned colleagues. Now leaving that up, uh, behind. Okay. Tip Numbu is on his way back uh, to Nigeria. Yeah, he's going to be back to Nigeria tomorrow. 
because they need to swear for your new CJN. CJN means Chief Justice of Nigeria. And it's going to be the next, the next CJN is going to be that woman, Kekere uh, Ekon, the woman that the Nigerian, uh, what do you call it? Sorry. So many international uh, uh, embassies, or should we say, many embassies have actually bad R and they won't grant her visa. 